this worksheet is the same one that we used in the previous training video except I went ahead and stretched out the columns to make them larger so that way when I go to print this it's going to cut off a couple of columns because it can't be squozing in and the reason why I wanted to do that is to get you into page orientation of portrait and landscape because by default portrait is more vertical and you get more rows printed on a page as opposed to landscape which is more horizontal you get less rows but you get more columns printed on that page so for example to see what it looks like right now come up here click on the file tab go backstage down to print and in print preview you've got the rate and gross that's been cut off so if I go to page 2 is it there no it continues with the data but then the cutoff columns appear on page 3 and that doesn't work because on page 4 it continues with those cutoff columns okay that's not working for me so what I can do let me go back you can see where the page break is with the dashed line in between columns G and H. So I could go ahead and collapse the columns, but you can imagine if you can't collapse the columns any further and it really takes up that much space, then the other option you have is page orientation and you can do it one of two ways. You can either come up here and click on the page layout tab, go to the page setup group and click on orientation down from portrait to landscape so it's wider and it can fit more columns there but less rows or you can go backstage just before you print it, go down to print, and change it from vertical to landscape. And then let's take a look. Now we have a total of two pages instead of four, and rate and gross is right there. Well, if you can't see it, go ahead and click on zoom, and then scroll over. And there's rate and gross, and go to page two. And let's go ahead and click on it to zoom out. It fits the rest of the data onto page two. You have less space vertically but you got more space horizontally with landscape. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.